Subitu, Subi. Oh, look here. Today we have an epic opening. It is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Light and Darkness Power Pack. And then I'll ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe and bell me for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Alright, you guys. So, on the back here it says, The Light and Darkness Power Pack. With the Light and the Darkness Dragon in your deck, you can stop anything on your way to becoming the King of Games. Great value. And uh, thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, we have this epic... One punch, man, play mat. Also, we'll be using some clear, clear, just regular clear Ultra Pro sleeves. And so, some background info on the Light and Darkness Power Pack, you guys. I believe this is one of the only ways to get actual Dark Revelation 4 booster packs. So, first of all, there's that. And also, you get the Light and Darkness Dragon. And this guy is freaking awesome. Actually, one of the more powerful cards from the Power Pack uh, back in the day during the kind of Monarch era with Treeborn Frog and all that shenanigans because you had Lad or the Light and Darkness that power decks going on there with the, yeah, all that tributing and shenanigans. Anyways, so Dark Revelation 4 though has some of the more rare and valuable cards in different rarities. So like super rare and ultra rare and whatnot. So like you have, um, first of all, Icarus Attack was very valuable but it just got reprinted again, super. But yeah, Icarus Attack super rare was uh, pretty epic in here. And then you also had Treeborn Frog ultra rare you also have the actually probably one of the most valuable super rares right now, and uh, Dragon's Mirror is in here, and so that would be crazy if we pulled that. Also, you have some of the Sacred Beast dudes um, and different other cards that are ultra rare. But yeah, let's get started. So here we go, um, a Light and Darkness Power Pack. Just gonna take our time opening these. Like I said, they're pretty dang rare, pretty dang awesome. You also get a Yugi Yu-Gi-Oh GX little manga inside. The Legendary Dragon. You need to see an epic battle with a whole bunch of dragons and Neos in Wink Rebo level 10. Very cool. And so we'll just do one at a time here. So we get our Light and Darkness Dragon. We're definitely going to sleeve that up. Very awesome card. I remember having some fun times with this guy. So many different rulings. Alright, and then the all-powerful, the Dark Revelation 4 packs. And there's even secret rares out of here, you guys, are just so rare and hard to come by because of the packs. Um, and it's really, it's really something to think about that when you open a card, you know, straight from the pack, it's pretty dang mint. And for these valuable cards, that's very important because you might see a near mint card sell for, you know, a certain amount, let's just say $30. But if you have it graded and it's like a 9 or a 10, that could be a $100 card. So, here we go. Let's check it out. First Dark Revelation Volume 4 Booster Pack. Out of six packs, it would be awesome if we pull a foil. Any more than that would be crazy, but let's see what we get. Parasitic Tiki, Oxygedon, Ancient Gear, Ebon Magician Current, Cybernetic Cyclopean, Machine King Prototype, and the No Baby is Super Rare Miracle Fusion. Oh man, this card used to be very valuable when heroes were making their way. Um, back in what in sector format kind of thing or maybe a little before but yeah so that's still really cool to see this super rare so we did get a foil card out of just six packs it's pretty awesome man for a second though that could have been dragon's mirror there's not that many super rare spell cards in here chthonian polymer uh spiritual earth arts destruction of destiny and e emergency call with symbol of heritage dark revelation four nice starting off strong with a foil card in our first pack very cool. Miracle Fusion. Wow. Minty fresh. Alright, next uh, DR4. Dark Revelation 4 pack. Can we get another foil out of six packs? Let's do it. Right here. Cyber Kirin. Avalanching Asa. We have the Charmers in here. Adhesive Explosive. Psychroid. A Malice Ascendant. Rottweiler. A Guard Penalty. It has changed defense position. Draw one card. Interesting. I could just draw you cards with that. Uh, Magical Explosion, D Shield, Miracle Kids, E Emergency Call again, and Symbol and Heritage. Nice. Alright, so set this over here. Okay, next mini box or power pack here. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, we get another manga. It is the same one. And, of course, another light and darkness dragon. 
and two DR4 booster packs. All right, here we go. And it's pretty interesting too, these Dark Revelation packs, one side is light and the other side is dark, if you guys see that. Dark pack, light pack. I always thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so we'll save that bad boy up here. Okay, so we got a super rare already. Let's see if we can get another. Here we go. Um, other than Dragon's Mirror, secret rares. DD Assailant secret rare is just beautiful. So that would be extraordinary if we could pull that. But any secret rare would be nice. Um, what else? Yeah, like the Ultra Red Treeborn Frog is really cool. You don't see that very often. Elemental Hero Neo Bubble Man. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. I remember when people played this guy. It's funny. Uh, Dark Catapulter. Battery Man D. Jet Roid. Oh, man. And a super rare Majestic Mech Oka. Wow. People actually played this guy for a little bit. Six stars, 2400. Can normal summon this card without tributing a monster. If you do, it is sent to the graveyard during the end phase. Does this work with Skill Drain? I think that activates in your hand. I can't remember. But yeah, cool. Attack Reflector Unit, Generation Shift. Fun card to mess around with. Simultaneous Loss, End of the World. I always loved this art. Crazy. Love it. Uh, R Righteous and She and Spy. Select one face of monster you control. Activate this card. Give control of the monster to your opponent until the end phase of this turn. Interesting. Little six samurai card that's hiding. Alright, so we actually got two supers out of six packs. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Majestic Mech Oka. Alright, let's see if we can get another foil card. And these are very rare packs, that's why I'm just taking my time, you guys. You don't see them very often. Jerry Beans Man, nice. Jerry, a bean soldier, believes he is the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are untested. That'd be crazy if they made, like, another Jerry Beans Man, like, evolution card or something. They really should. Uh, Chthonian Soldier, evolution, uh, fusion or something. <laughs> Storming Wind, oh man, Blade Skeeter, Nano Breaker. And then, oh baby, Demise King of Armageddon. Another foil card. Three supers. <laughs> this set, man. Three supers. And he is the one that uses um, the end of the world uh, ritual spell that we were just looking at. If you guys have ever looked at the guy, I know, I know this guy comes ultimate rare, but this is obviously a very rare super version of him. But just, this guy is awesome. I remember I just wanted to play this deck because I'm not a big fan of whole like rituals and destroy your opponent's field and all that shenanigans, but uh, but just because he's awesome, <laughs> I just wanted to play that deck and I played it for a little bit. Simultaneous loss, next to be lost. Somebody's losing something here. A spiritual water art, trial of the princess. I love the Kuran and uh, the other one. Ojama muscle and transcendent wings. Dude, coming in hot these packs right now. I know we're not getting like the most valuable super rares, but still to get three supers from a set that's really hard to pull foils out of, out of just six packs is very nice. Like if you guys bought like 24 of these loose or something and they weren't like searched, it'd still be pretty hard to pull foils. All right, so final uh, power pack here. Let's do this. Power pack box. As seen on Cartoon Network. Here we go, you guys. See if I can open it a little better this time. Here we go. Alright, so two more packs. The dark and the light. Should we end? Should the last pack of Destiny be the dark or the light? I think uh, since I was the dark side in the booster box battle between light and dark, I think I'm going to have to go with dark. So, we'll start with lights. Can we get another foil? Can we get four foils out of six packs? This is already a very insane opening. Like, this is definitely just about godly. Let's We're going to have to obliterate you guys if we get another foil card, because that's just crazy. Crazy talk. Come on. All right. Layered the Liberator, Infernal Incinerator, Patroid, Bubble Man, BW Catapult, Cybernetic Magician Rare. It's pretty cool. 
the forces of darkness. Shattered Axe, Chthonian Blast, Chthonian Alliance, Phantasmal Martyrs. Phantasmal Beast. Photon Generator Unit. Alright, you guys, for the last pack of Destiny. Kaiba! Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Grass Phantom. Protective Soul, Aelin. Cyber Archfiend, Familiar Possessed Area. Win, UFO Roid, and a Dark Deal Rare. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Rare Dark Deal. I don't know if I knew that existed. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. The success probability zero to get a foil in the final pack of Destiny. Bonding and Fusion Recovery. Uh, one of the more rare Fusion Recoveries, by the way. From Dark Revelation 4. Alright. I'm going to sleeve this up because I just think that's awesome. Wow. What an opening, though. Seriously, guys. That was pretty, pretty insane. So once again, we got our three light and darkness dragons. And again, another shout out to the booster box battle between the light and the dark for this light and dark power pack. Um, we got a rare cybernetic magician. Very cool. A rare guard penalty. A rare dark deal. That's pretty awesome. And then we had three foils out of six packs, you guys. The majestic mech. The demise king of Armageddon. Very awesome card. And then, of course, the Epic Miracle Fusion. What a fun opening. Very awesome, you guys. And once again, YouTube, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And stay tuned for the next Booster Box Battle, you guys. Um, I'm working towards getting a box that you guys really wanted me to open. And uh, to battle against the Invasion of Chaos. So that's going to be freaking awesome. And seriously, oh, lucky, signing out.